Hi, it's Miss April from the Five Day Twos, and I've been reading books that my kids loved when they were little. This is Miss Spider's Tea Party. Uh, in the Five Day Twos, we always like to look at what's on our inside pages, and you can see how much we loved the book when my kids were little, but we had lots of little insects there. And this is Miss Spider's Tea Party, Paintings and Verses by David Kirk. When lonely spider sipped her tea while gazing at the sky. She watched the insects on the leaves and many flying by. If I had friends like these, she sighed, who'd stay a while with me. I'd sit them down on silken chairs and serve them cakes and tea. Two timid beetles I can may crept from the woodwork that same day. But when Miss Spider begged, please stay, they shrieked, oh no, and dashed away. Three fireflies flew inside that night, their spirits high, their tails alight. They spied the web and squeaked in fear, we'd better get away from here. The little trio did not feel they'd care to be a spider's meal. And there's Miss Spider all curled up asleep. Four bumblebees buzzed by outside. Please come to tea, Miss Spider cried. The four ignored her swaying there. She waved a tea towel in the air. She took a cup and tapped the glass. Then one bee spoke to her at last. We would be fools to take our tea with anyone so spidery. Within the shadows of the room, just peeking from behind a broom, five grinning faces bobbed and peered. Miss Spider smiled. Her heart was cheered. Descending for a closer look, she danced into the gloomy nook, but sadly found those jolly mugs belonged, alas, to rubber bugs. They weren't real, they were just toys. Some ants strode in, they numbered six, but ants with spiders will not mix. She brewed them tea from hips of roses. The proud platoon turned up their noses. They wouldn't drink her tea. A fine bouquet concealed its prize of seven dainty butterflies. Miss Spider, watching from the wall, was not aware of them at all. The tea table was set for eight with saucer's cup and silver plate. The cakes were fresh, the service gleamed, yet no one would arrive, and it seemed. Her company in no demand left her a cup for every hand. She just wants some friends to come for tea. Nine spotted moss kept safe and warm <clears throat> in shelter from a thunderstorm. They stood beneath an open sash and watched the jagged lightning flash. Miss Spider dropped down on a thread, a silver tray above her head. She hoped to please them, but instead, they flew away in mortal dread. Miss Spider scared them. They've left me all alone, she cried. She dabbed her eyes and sadly sighed. It's plain no bug will ever say. Her tears splashed down upon the tray. She's very sad that no one wants to have tea with her. Ten tiny steaming cups of tea sat were perched atop her trembling knee. She sipped and sobbed, then heard a cough and turned to see a small wet moth. A fragile thing so soaked by rain, his wings too damp to fly again. He's all wet from the storm. She smiled and took a checkered cloth to cloak the frail and thankful moth. They toffed and snacked on tea and pie until his tiny wings were dry. Then tossing him with tender care, then lifting him with tender care, she tossed him gently in the air. She even gave him a little plate of pie to take with him. The moth told Ike, then Ike told May, who went from bug to bug to say, there is no reason for alarm. She never meant us any harm. So later on that afternoon, assembled in the dining room, 11 insects came to tea to share Miss Spider's courtesy. Look, they're all gonna have tea together. 12 tender violets in a vase presented at Miss Spider's place. Set by her chair so neatly spun, she munched the blossoms one by one. Her friends were glad to watch her feast upon the floral centerpiece. It was a great relief to see. She ate just flowers and drank just tea. Miss Spider's reputation grew. Before too long, our hostess knew each bug who crawled or hopped or flew and all their lovely children, too. She 
she was eating the flowers for her tea. And here's our back page, Miss Spider meeting all of the bugs and insects and all of their children too. And she's so happy now because she has friends to come to tea. That was Miss Spider's Tea Party by David Kirk.